Hi, I'm Kelsey Brennan Wessels, and you are watching Earth from Space on the European Space Agency Web TV. Clouds blur our view of the snow below in parts of this image acquired over the southern tip of Greenland by the Landsat 8 satellite on May 30th. Long fjords reach far inland, and zooming in on the tips of some of their fingers, we can see ice streams that drain the Greenland ice sheet. Covering more than 2 million square kilometers, Greenland is the world's largest island and home to the second largest ice sheet after Antarctica. The ice sheet is so massive that, if it were to melt, global sea levels would rise by an estimated 7 meters. It is therefore crucial to monitor the mass of ice sheets and the rate at which they are melting. Satellites are the perfect candidates for this task. Radars on satellites are particularly suited for monitoring polar regions because they can acquire images through any weather conditions, day or night. In a study published last year, scientists exploited data from 10 different satellite missions and discovered that the rate of ice sheet melting is increasing. The study showed that many areas in Greenland, especially along the coast, are losing up to one meter of ice thickness per year. This loss of ice is one of the major contributors to sea level rise. Now in the lower part of this image, these white dots that look like stars in the night sky are actually icebergs in the North Atlantic Ocean. Although they appear small and insignificant in this image, they pose a major risk to ships. This is another area where satellites can step in. Satellite-based radar acquisitions are used to supplement aerial surveys of icebergs to help steer vessels away from a potential collision. Well, that brings us to the end of this edition of Earth from Space. Remember that we broadcast online every Friday at 10 o'clock Central European Summer Time. Watch us on our website or through the ESA app on your mobile device. From the ESA Web TV Studios, I'm Kelsey Brennan-Wessels.